Hi guys, this is Rachel with Alternative Press. I'm here today with The Descendants. We're at beautiful Riot Fest in Chicago. So, um, when you guys come to Chicago, do you do any inherently Chicago things? Well, this trip we didn't really have time to, but yeah, we try to get, you know, the Chicago hot dog, the, you know, this place has great Mexican food, so we usually overindulge in that department too, so. You gotta see our, the t-shirt we did for this show. Carl is a Chicago dog. And with the good, uh, you know, the good neon green relish and everything, it's pretty cool. And I'm a, I'm a burger, and Stefan is a coffee, and Milo is fries, you know, because of the yeah. hairs. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So have you guys found a great cup of coffee in Chicago yet? I woke what up an hour ago. Not yeah, yet. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, we just got out of the bus a minute <laughs> yeah. ago. And we have a decent coffee maker on the bus, but not great. Wait, no, no wait, wait, wait. I went to a place called Intelligentsia in Chicago, and I tried to get 10 espressos to go before we play, because that's how, how many I like to have before we play. And they wouldn't give them to me. They, they thought I was joking or yeah. something. They wouldn't give them to me. And I argued with them. I said, please, I wanna, I'll pay you money. And they threw me out. Yeah. They wouldn't <laughs> give me the espresso, and they threw me out. I'm not kidding. So there's apparently an espresso Yeah, I limit. won't go there again. <laughs> there's a legal limit. Yeah. yeah. So when you guys interact with fans, is there any recurring story that you hear from them when they talk about experiencing seeing you guys live or just in general? No recurring ones, but it seems like there's... Uh, for a lot of them, it seems like there's a song for every occasion, mm -hmm. I guess, is the, the drift that, that, that I get from a lot of them. It's like, no matter what they're going through personally, one of our songs will apply to it. How about you? Any recurring things? I, I can't really think of anything that, that answers your thing specifically, but I mean, I guess what comes to mind is that you, at the shows, it's, it's kind of warming to, to have people tell you that maybe one of your songs kind of helped them through a rough time in their life, maybe when they were young adults or teenagers, and that you're, they were able to grasp onto your song and it kind of got them through. And that's kind of a good feeling because I know there have been songs that were that way for me that got me through a rough time, and I, that can be that can be the very thing you need, really. Going off of that, is there a song that you guys would say, you know, saved your life, quote unquote, was really important to you growing up? It would have been a lot of those songs by the band The Last, like uh, Difference and Look Again, Looking at You and She Don't Know Why I'm Here. All those songs, I felt like, I felt like, wow, this band, they're having a kind of a hard time in, interacting in their relationships, and, and, and so am I, so I'm bonded with them, yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna have to go with something that was more liberating. I mean, Teenage Lobotomy by the Ramones sort of changed a lot of stuff for me. A lot of assumptions I had about music, what a song could be. It was kind of, that was a very moving one in directions you wouldn't expect. Sure. So you guys are kind of the kings of a lot of hardcore. Are there any bands out there that you've heard, Rising or otherwise, that you could tell have owned a couple of your records over the years? You know, they're kind of like next. Well, I mean, that's that's a given in this scene. They all have the records, you know. I, what, I don't know how influenced or not they may be, but yeah. it's kind of nice. I mean, the hot water music guys are that are that kind of thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, I definitely don't keep my ear as low to the ground as I used to. Yeah. So sometimes someone like yourself will ask me this question, and I'll go, "Oh yeah, have you heard the new whatever?" Yeah. And they're like, "Yeah, dude, that came out five years yeah. ago." <laughs> <laughs> well, especially now with streaming and everything, and just constant releases. Yeah. So. We, uh, you know, we have a lot of interesting bands that open for us, and that kind of is one thing that does keep the door open because the, the band uh, No Parents played today. They opened for us last night in Minneapolis, and they're great. They're a great band. And uh, so that was a nice thing that happened in the past 24 hours. That was cool. Like, I, I turned 56 two days ago, and I think for me it's just about keeping an open mind and not getting into that frame of mind. Uh, so, yeah, my father told me when the descendants started my father told me it was we were playing noise and that it was no good and and I I'm just I don't want to ever be in that frame like where my, my son recently started a band he's 18 I don't want to be in that frame of mind where I'm telling him that his music yeah. is noise I just, I just try to keep a, an open mind and a little bit of room a little bit of room in the brain for some new for some newage sure. yeah that's awesome he's falling in your footsteps yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having us.